So I've got to feed the cats twice a day. Um, and because they're still kittens, they get some kitten milk as well. Which they love by the way. So we have this little weed growing here. And if I touch it, yeah. See it closes up. Go away. Go away, Helga. So if I touch it, look at that, it closes up. Watch. Anyway. It's a noxious weed, it makes you itchy if you touch it. So, and there's starting to come a few of them around. So my job is to get the weed sprayer and spray these, try and kill them all, because they spread like wildfire. What happens when I spray these weeds? The leaves just curl up. Come on, Woody. Come on. No. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah, come. Boy, what is he? Girl? They're both boys. <laughs> They're both boys. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, Woody. Come on, Woody. Come on. I've got it all ready for you, mate. Straight over there. And Woody's the winner. Yay. <laughs> Too slow, Kaiser. You're the slow, Kaiser. You get to stay here. Uh, so we're off to feed the horses. Um, bit of a bit of a uh, challenge this one because you've got to have them in separate paddocks. Because Woody, the dark horse over there, gives a bit of a character that one. He's, uh, but uh, he lives in pouring at the ground. He knows I've got the food for him, uh, and he gets very impatient. And, and he likes to boss around. This is Kaiser, the brown one. He likes to boss him around and push him out the way. So I have to feed them separately. So I'll do Kaiser first. And just so Woody doesn't get too upset, I'll go and give him his now. And I've got to spray him with this fly spray stuff as well. So. Look at him. Come on Woody, over here mate. Over here buddy. Oh no, go around the other way. Woody. Woody. Woody, stop. Come around this side. This in your numbskull. Come around here. Alright. There you can eat. Alright. So I just have to spray both of them with this fly spray. And uh, Kaiser over there gets the extra treatment on his sores. He's got to have this on. Woody is normally pretty good, doesn't mind me spraying him with the fly spray. So he's very well behaved. Although he's a bit of a naughty horse sometimes. He lets me do this quite easily. Kaiser, on the other hand, is a different story. So that's what he done. We'll go and do Kaiser.
See, he already knows what I'm bringing. All right, mate. It's just going to be a couple of little sprays, okay? Oh, you good boy. Oh, girl, what are you, boy? Good boy. So this stuff is just going on his sores to keep the flies off. And then just some fly spray to keep the flies off as well. well he's behaving for the camera. He's doing a good job, isn't he? He usually walks off the moment we have the uh, spray near him. I always worry about walking around behind him though, so I'll give him a big walk around. Hi oh girl, what are you eating? Hello. You doing good? Good girl, huh? Boy. Boy. <laughs> Boy. Under the belly. There we go. And the horses are done. Another job done for the day. Did you get his neck with the spray? This one? No, the other one. We're about. Oh, yeah. There you go. You're all good, mate. Enjoy your lunch, eh? You guys hungry? No, man. Okay, sit down. Sit. Sit down. Oh. Helga, that's for you. Tess, that's for you. Elsie? Ellie. Ellie, I mean. <laughs> that's for you. Alright. Dinosaur. What did I say? Hey! Digging. So I take the dogs for a walk twice a day. Once in the morning, I take them around that paddock around the boundary. In the afternoons, I take them around this paddock. And uh, as I'm walking around, I check the fences, make sure no trees are falling on them and that uh, everything's okay. So I can see just over here, there's a bit of a tree falling on this fence. So not really a tree, a twig. Don't get that off. This paddock here is just the uh, barbed wire fence. This paddock has the electric fence. Uh, the dogs are really good most of the time. Sometimes they won't come. Sometimes I'll run off and chase kangaroos or wallabies. Uh, and apparently they can run off and chase pigs as well, but we haven't seen any pigs yet since I've been here. Um, and they did chase a goanna up a tree the other day and I didn't have my bloody camera or my phone with me so I missed out on getting that on film but uh, yeah, so I just take them for a walk around this paddock after I fed them in the afternoon it's about a 10 minute walk, it's not much but they seem to enjoy it thank you guys so, just walking along here and I've just noticed here that the um, electric fence has come out. These wires are meant to be into these black plastic things. Something's knocked them out. Possibly horses. There's lots of um, well they're not wild horses. They are owned by people but they just roam free around the streets. Lots of them and um, possibly one of them because there's been heaps of them hanging around here lately. Possibly one of them's walked into this fence and knocked it out. So I'm going to have to go up and turn the uh, electric fence part of it off and come back and repair that fence. But uh, yeah, it could have been a uh, wallaby as well. I don't know, it looks like something big's walked into it though. But yeah, another little job for me to do. So turning off the electric fence is as simple as unclipping that and just let it dangle down. So uh, I'll quickly go back and fix that fence, let the dogs run around for a bit and uh, come and turn it back on again. Dial, 
thought it would be a good idea to take the dogs for a walk. It was only sprinkling, but now it's pouring down. There's even like a lake starting there. I mean, a little river. And uh, he's in that paddock over there. Ooh, trying to still stay undercover. He's in that paddock over there. It takes like 10 minutes to walk around, especially if the dogs aren't behaving. And uh, I think he's gonna come back pretty soaked. Luckily, he hasn't had a shower yet. Or well, maybe he should have brought a bar of soap with him. <laughs> Incredible. And here they come. <laughs> Hello! Hi! Hi, hun! How was it? Just a bit? Wet. Just a bit? Yeah. Hi! Hi! Just a bit? Should have brought a bar of soap with you. Should have brought a bar of soap with you. Yeah. No animals today. No kangaroos. No. No animals. No nothing. Oh. We always have our windows open, but this is the first time the rain come in, and it's getting me. Getting the laptop, so Dal has to shut the window. I've never had to do it before, but it would suck to have to uh, sleep on a wet bed. It's crazy out there. I wish you guys could see it. You can probably hear it though, that's for sure. There's Dal. Hold it. There we go. Uh, Jess is going to try and get some mangoes from the tree. There's not many left on this tree. These are the good mangoes. These are really big and yummy. Um, but yeah, there's not many left on this tree. Come on, babe, you can do it. You want to get it in the net, not let it drop onto the ground. It'll bruise it. Not giving up. Giving up? Oh, let me have a go. Are you going to keep going? Yeah, Doesn't want to come off, does it? No. Look how huge that one is. Alright, Daryl's turn. <laughs> this one ain't going to come off, I don't reckon. No. Told you it was hard. Oh. I got it. <laughs> that one. Get the other one. There's literally only two on here left. This is it. Wow. Bugger. How long does it take for mangoes to grow back? <laughs> Next year, babe. They only come once a season. Well, technically it's... January 1st, are you saying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our last three mangoes. Look, this one's massive. There's, uh, there's still some left on the other trees. They're a lot smaller, but these are the really good ones. And, uh, yeah, these are the last three. So that's it. All gone.
crack that whip.